King Croesus, the last ruler of the Lydian civilization founded in Anatolia, is known as a symbol of unimaginable wealth and luxury. His name, which is synonymous with wealth, is one of the most interesting topics for historians and treasure hunters. So who was this mysterious king? How did he accumulate so much wealth? How did he find his place in Jewish and Persian mythology? What is the mystery of this king, referred to as Karun in the Holy Quran? What secrets did his reign hold? Let us examine the life and wealth of King Croesus. King Croesus ruled Lydia from 585 BC to 546 BC. The Kingdom of Lydia, which is located within the borders of today's Turkey, was prosperous and was in a strategically very important region. King Croesus inherited a rich kingdom, but he was not going to be satisfied with that. He expanded his territory and sphere of influence, becoming one of the richest rulers in history. His reign led to the widespread use of gold. He made Lydia the birthplace of the first true gold coins. These gold coins revolutionized trade and made Lydia the most important economic power in the history of the ancient world. One of the most intriguing aspects of King Croesus's wealth was the Pactola River, now called the Sart River located in the Aegean region of the Republic of Turkey. According to legend, the river's sands were filled with gold. This abundance of gold contributed enormously to the immense wealth of the Lydian king. Ancient stories tell of King Midas, who had the ability to turn everything he touched into gold, bathing in this river to rid himself of the curse of gold. This story adds a layer of mystery to the wealth of King Croesus. The Pactola River has become a symbol of eternal wealth, further strengthening the legend of King Croesus. Croesus's fascination with the divine and fate is another fascinating aspect of his story. He often consulted the Oracle of Delphi, asking him to guide him in matters of state and war. One day, he met the oracle for consultation, and it was to contain a cryptic prophecy. The oracle told King Croesus that if he waged war against the Persians, he would destroy a great empire. Croesus, confident in his power, attacked the Persians, only to realize that it was his empire that was destroyed. This narrative is the greatest indication of the irony and tragedy of Croesus's life. For King Croesus's self-confidence also paved the way for his downfall. The king's fall is as impressive and intriguing as his rise. Cyrus the Great, King of Persia, defeated him and brought an end to his reign. The story of Croesus's capture is a tangled web of rumors. Some sources say that he was saved from execution by divine intervention while others say that the Persian king Cyrus the Great made him his advisor. These contradictory and disconnected accounts add to the mystery of his life. According to one account, when Croesus was about to be burned alive, he asked for help from Apollo, the sun god of Greek mythology, and a sudden rain extinguished the flames that had been lit for Croesus. These and similar stories illustrate the dramatic and mysterious end of King Croesus's reign. The legacy of King Croesus's wealth did not end with his defeat. Treasures believed to have belonged to the Lydian king have been found at various archaeological dig sites. The most famous discovery is the Lydian treasure, a collection of artifacts and coins that showcases the wealth of the period. These findings offer a crucial glimpse into the luxurious lifestyle and sophisticated culture of ancient Lydia. The artifacts include intricately designed jewelry, ornate pottery, and finely crafted gold and silver objects, 
all demonstrating the advanced craftsmanship and artistic achievements of the Lydians. Croesus's name has transcended time to become a symbol of ultimate wealth. The story of Croesus's life, a blend of historical fact and legendary myth, continues to fascinate people hundreds of years after his death. The king's life is a reminder of the transient nature of wealth and the enduring allure of gold. Rich as Croesus, a phrase in many different languages, is still used today to describe his immense wealth and emphasize the lasting impact of his legacy. Today, King Croesus is often referred to in literature and popular culture. His story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of hubris and the unpredictable nature of fate. From ancient texts to modern novels, the life and downfall of King Croesus is told as a powerful example of the vagaries of fortune. The appeal of his story lies not only in his wealth, but also in the dramatic twists and turns of his fate. Despite all this knowledge of his wealth, many questions about Croesus remain unanswered today. How much of Croesus's story is fact, and how much legend? Which of his treasures are still hidden or waiting to be discovered? These mysteries keep the story of King Croesus alive, making him a figure of great mystery and intrigue for new generations. The ruins of Sardis, the ancient capital of Lydia, still hold many secrets about the king. Archaeologists working at the site of the ancient city of Sardis, now located in Manisa in the Republic of Turkey, continue to uncover artifacts and relics from the past, hoping to piece together more information about Croesus's life and reign. The life of King Croesus is a fascinating blend of history, myth, and legend. His extraordinary wealth and the mysteries surrounding his reign continue to intrigue and inspire. As more is discovered about his life, the fascination of his story grows. The story of King Croesus reminds us that some legacies, gilded in gold and shrouded in mystery, never fade. His story is a great testament to the enduring power of wealth and the enduring fascination of people with wealth and riches. What do you think about this story? Was King Croesus really so greedy? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For more of this kind of content, you can like the video and support us by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.